All right, guys, the big day is here, or one of many big days, of course, but I'm gonna do as much, try to catch as much video as I can or capture as much as I can for you, but I'm relatively limited on time, so I'll do my best. Let me just give you the quick lay of the land. I'm just standing on a big mound of dirt. And we're looking down towards the big berm. Uh, you can tell it's darker green. That's where the berm is. It's all grown over, but that's the berm down there. 800 feet roughly all the way and there's the end over there today our big project is installing water control structures we have two of them we're going to install inline versions which we'll take a look at down you can see beyond the tractor there's some black dirt that's been dug up that's where one of the structures is going to go uh, the other one is a little bit more obscure but it's back there we finally have dry conditions and you can see it in the clay soil see all the get over here you can see it's all cracked it's been just ultra wet for the last three years and this is probably the driest it's been so I have a rare opportunity to get some work done in fact let me pan around I was able to drive the tractor with several bags of concrete almost all the way down to the berm where it's pretty darn swampy. <clears throat> that said, here's the quick lay of the land. So here is the so-called reservoir pond, which is really just kind of a part of the much bigger piece. But if you remember from last year, I have a 10 inch pipe. Uh, if we walked over there, you could see it because it's, it's kind of floating towards the top. I need to get that tied down on the bottom. But that is buried and goes all the way to where this stake is. That's the water control structure I installed last fall. You can reference the video on that as well. So that's in line. There's a water control structure roughly five feet in the ground. Uh, there you can just see the top of it, I'll zoom in. There's the top. So the, again, the idea is I got this food plot down here and I get that planted and you know, obviously in around fall, late summer, I open my water control structure up and flood that baby out for great uh, duck and goose hunting. Uh, anyway, the 10 inch pipe goes all the way down a little bit beyond the tractor and then pops out. So we'll go take a look at that. So here's the big agri drain in case you wanted to see it. 10 incher, open her up. You can see the high side. Watch me drop my phone in there. And here's the low side. So here's your stop logs. You open these up and the water ultimately spills over. Close that up. All right, I walked down. I'm on the opposite side of the truck and tractor from where I was standing. Here is the 10 inch pipe poking out. It's probably, I don't know, 300 feet maybe, a pipe that's buried up to the water control structure. And then what I did here is I just decided to ditch this. Uh, the problem is I didn't want to have my pipe very close to the surface, especially if I'm disking or someone plows this eventually. Uh, I figured catching that would not be a good deal. So let me walk down by the structures, where the structures are going, and we'll take a look at that. All right, we're down to the berm where we're going to install the structure. One other thing I'll mention is from when I set this up, from the berm up to where we were just standing where the pipe comes out in the ditch probably can't quite see that but uh, long story short the difference in grade this is going uphill I'm facing uphill is about 30 inches so that's kind of how I engineered this thing if I can get 30 inches of water uh, I'll have surface water about three quarters of the way from here to the truck we spin around so we're gonna install the water the inline water control structures here uh what do i want to say i did this last fall i got the posts set these are in about four feet set in concrete so what i need to do is get the laser transit set up and check all my grade probably got to get this smoothed out a little bit so i can set my pipe uh so those are the I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna break this up into a couple videos the next thing I got to do really is again get the laser transit set up and then I got this uh, piece of concrete or that block patio paper I guess 
that's where my water control structure is going to sit. So I want to get that level and then I'm going to pour a couple bags of concrete around that to hold it in place because obviously there's going to be water down here most of the time. And so we want to try to make sure everything's as, as firm as possible. All right, I ran into my first obstacle. Let's we'll see if you guys can see them. But right here, I disturbed some ground bees. I got stung on the ear. Uh, so I've had, everything's been going pretty good this morning, except for <laughs> getting stung by a dang bee, uh, which I'm kind of surprised these guys are in here. Because last weekend, like literally less than a week ago, I ran the excavator through here and I did not see any ground bees. So either they were here and I didn't notice them or they quickly built this, and which means there can't be tons of them in there. I'm gonna go grab the excavator and try to get these guys out of here uh, because obviously they're right where we need to be working. So I'll leave it at that. We'll try to break this up into a couple segments. Thanks for following along. 